Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap up on Mike Sorgat Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Back off the road, had a pretty crazy weekend, and uh, glad to be back in here uh, with some stories to tell maybe across tonight and tomorrow on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. But with me, as always, from Beacon, New York, where I was a cool 45 minutes away from. On Friday night, as I was stuck in traffic in the Bronx of all places, Mad Mike is with us. Yeah, uh, so about that, Sword, why didn't you visit? Because it was not my trip. Sword, why didn't you visit? I, I don't, it, it's, I was like an hour Sword. away on Long Island, and I'm sure, I've, I've told you say on Long Island, not in Long Island, very specifically. Yes, no, that's right, but, um, but Sword. Why did you visit? I, 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 I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, Terminator. I'll be back, sir. That's, that's, that's I was on a say. job. We're shooting. Sword, no one willingly goes back to Long Island. Well, I don't know. The, the the owner like was all like, hey, man, if you want free tickets and da-da-da-da-da and a place to stay. And I'm just like, what is happening right now? Then he told us about Morse code and aliens, and it got real weird. So that was my introduction to Long Island. That sounds accurate. Okay, they just want to make sure. So, anyways, this Wait, is. Hold on. Did, did you did you fist pump? Did I fist pump? No, I just, this yeah, did not boom, seem like boom, I did not boom, 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 I did not boom. meet too many fist pumping bros where I was in Westbury. Um, did you hear anyone pronounce it Long Island? Uh, the, the, I think the, 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 this guy, this guy that ran the joint, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Good. So no, I, I, was, I, I wouldn't want you to have an inauthentic experience. No, shout out to uh, Mike Moran and the and the crew out there. Um, I got they needed a camera operator last minute for um, Triton fights, which actually I believe I think you can watch the replay. I know it's streamed free on uh, the Bleacher Report live, um, so you can go check that out. It was a fun night streaming that, and of course uh, then Erie for Revenge Pro, and then down to West Virginia for the Black Diamond Wrestling. And Mike, you know I like to start this off with positivity and kind of like was your kind of awesome thing of the weekend uh, for pro uh-huh. wrestling. And actually, you probably have something I, and I, I just oh, yeah. recall. Yeah, I, I you, you were busy at fr- on Friday night as I was uh, working down on Long Island. Uh, fist pump. <laughs> so It sounds really weird when you say it. Because I have a Western PA accent, and I'm trying to do a whatever Long Island is. Just Long Island. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's basically. basically. Anyways, yeah. no, it was a lot of fun. And and I had a blast up in uh, Revenge Pro. They, they drew uh, something like 500 fans up there. Just crazy that they're doing that in, in Erie. And this is like their sixth show, I think, since starting. And they're building up like an awesome fan base that – you know, I, I that's amazing. There's people around 20 years that aren't doing stuff like that, right? Um, and uh, but still, as big and awesome as that was, great talent, a lot of friends of the show on there. I did not have more fun than I did on Sunday, braving the snowstorm to see MT OSHA uh, do a lot of stuff, including um, our friend of the show, Ronnie Starks. You know how he likes trophies and and putting beer in them, um, mm-hmm. uh, being mobbed by kids for some reason. Oh. Lovely. Yes, yeah, so there's some videos over on India Wrestling's. Um, um, did he put chocolate milk in trophies? No, no, they just they just mm-hmm. didn't like him. Um, and there was a lot of them. And he was the first one out for inter- intermission, and the kids noticed because you know he wears bright yellow, and orange, and a safety mm-hmm. vet because they're mm-hmm. safety professionals and a hard hat, so he kind of sticks out. Uh, it was it was kind of great. Uh, so Long Island, Long Island Ice Sorg says uh, Alex Cars in the chat room. No, I had so much fun, and it's just one of those weekends between like, well, an MMA is kind of fun because I mean, watching people getting blasted in the face is just kind of uh, something I've enjoyed since going to that MMA show in December. Uh, and uh, you know, it's 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 a lot different in person, and uh, and uh, uh, and just a blast with the shows. There was a battle royal, or actually a rumble, royal rumble style uh, match. 
uh, up in Erie. That was just insane. I have no idea what we got of the Rumble because it, so much stuff was happening with 25 guys. Uh, but uh, they came out every 90 seconds and still got crazy, right? But, uh, you know, yeah, keep an eye out for that stuff. I got a lot of editing to do amongst that. And I haven't even seen what Fight Society did. It looked like it was pretty crazy uh, from what I'm getting from Rob and everything. And just a good, good vibes from, uh, I would say, the local wrestling scene. But everything is like at least an hour or two hours away that I did. Not not to mention the MMA up in uh, New York uh, over near your neck of the woods there. So, so you got to experience something uh, uh, pretty awesome on Friday night, sir. Yes, I did. I went to an NXT house show. Yes, uh, saw some pictures. Yeah. Saw you had some Johnny Gargano signs. Uh, yeah, yeah. We um, by the way, it's confirmed. They actually just put them out on the chairs for you. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> they just put them out. Side note: the guy that I went to New York and worked for, uh, who's he's done stuff with uh, in Cleveland for um, Prime Wrestling and Waterweight Wrestling whenever they did eye pay per views, um, uh, trained with Johnny Gargano initially oh. like he was in wrestling training with johnny gargano like their buddies like for nice. real um so th that was kind of a nice little connection there and this is a guy that i've known for a few years too so uh so really cool kind of connection as you're hanging out there and uh and, and seeing him perform up there on my uh, poughkeepsie so so tell uh, me more oh man it, it was a good house show it was good uh we opened up with riddle versus uh die Jack. That was nice. Dijakovic, Dijakovic. I'm, I'm not. I'm told. Him. I know. I'm not sold on it either. And and I, why get invested it's in this name? Is how, they, is how they pronounce it. Why, why invest in this name when you know it's just going to be taken away when he gets to Raw? <laughs> so yeah. that's my point. yeah, basically. <laughs> You're right. Um, but they had a good match. Um, we got to see uh, our main event was Gargano versus Stream, which was oh fantastic it, it was great like if it's anything like what their eventual big blow off match is gonna be mm -hmm. we're, we're in for a match of the year That's um great. and this match had champa coming out and then hitting a fairy tale ending on dream putting on a referee shirt and dream still kicking out it was really it was a good time uh we got to see a uh, six woman tag the um the three horsewomen against bianca and the sky pirates by the way, Bianca and the Sky Pirates is also uh, the name of a ska band that I saw in Poughkeepsie. Wait, for real? <laughs> no, kidding. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, the, the whole the whole show was really good. I really thought you were going to tell me and that. Got, I, I, th th I, I really thought you were going to tell me tell us that Bianca and the Sky Pirates was your Josie and the Pussycats cover band. But I can neither be Bianca nor a Sky Pirate. You could be a roadie. We will not speak of that name on this show. Oh, that's right. Ever again. You got a you got a week without the roadie. It was great. Yeah, I also got a week without Elias. Mm, what? Basically. You got a week without Elias. Feuding with the Lucha Dragons. Oh, I don't know about feuding, but it was Oh no, it's gonna be a feud. Oh boy. Or so he's gonna be fighting one of them each week now. You know what? I'll take it. Because I you know what I pulled like... out? You know what I dusted off? I was dusting off a lot of old projects, old footage today, and I found a super indie that involves Oh god. Callisto and Elias and Bobby Fish. And ACH, and I'm sure there's a few other names in there. There are probably I'm sure DJZ was part of it. Bah, 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 bah. That's right. And <laughs> no, it was uh, but no, it was a, uh, it was, it was a uh, Super Indie 12, I think. And right. uh, I think it was kind of fun. It was fun because I, I shared a uh, uh, Kalisto who used to be known as uh, Samurai Del Sol, and I was like, hey, yo, go check out, you know, you know, Kalisto back in the day. And then I looked at the match again and realized, oh. The other guy is El Generico. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that guy? Whatever happened to him? Who uh, did he ever beat? I know, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's bowling with Kevin Owens. No, no. He, th he works on a farm. What, when did we get to the point? This is Monday Night Raw, and Kevin Owens is turning in a cell phone promo like he works for an indie company. What is this world that we live in? I'm okay in? with this. I'm okay with this. You're okay with this? I'm okay with it because it's Kevin Owens on my television. I don't care oh, if it has to be. That is not a problem. Things. No, no. I was like, great, Kevin Owens, you're here. 
and you're hanging with your family and and okay you know i'm down with this um but uh yeah it was just it it, it was uh, good good I, i'm with you and then we had nikki cross in the next segment and and that was great um hey mike yeah i have a statement i prepared for okay. the last um let's say two minutes of monday night raw Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I, wait, I wait, 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 I have a prepared I statement. Have a statement. Prepared statement. What the fuck? Um, Sorg, Sorg, I have an answer for you. Mm. Um, ever since, uh, the, the, the year, the year 2008, the, the eternal question has been asked. What the fuck? What is the opposite of the coda at the end of a Marvel movie? My response, the last two minutes of this Raw. <laughs> it was, you saw Vince go over and ask about the time left. Yeah. You could tell, like, something ran long and yeah. they had to squeeze this thing in. Well, like, and I was, I'm, I'm arguing with Chad on Twitter about this. Okay. Like, literally as we speak. Um... Uh, why? Why? Why aren't we allowed to have nice things? Well, so you're talking about? Um, are you talking about raw in general, or? <laughs> no, no. Honestly, raw wasn't terrible. No, there, no, was, there was one stuff. segment I would have gotten rid of entirely. Which one was that? Oh, probably the uh, last stuff, right? No, the thirty-minute tag team match. That seemed long. Or whatever fucking... It went over, like, four commercial breaks, Sorg. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was restarted as another match. I'm like, why? Why? And then it was restarted for a false finish. Why? Oh, we're talking about the one earlier, the, the, the six-man one. Oh, oh no, the tag title match? That, w that was phenomenal. Please yeah. Give me more of that. No, that was great. That, that actually was a tag team match that had consequences, stakes, and... Oh, yeah. New champions. That was great. That nothing wrong with that. I'm talking about the bullshit with the the not ready for Brock Lesnar primetime players. That's a good team name. The not ready well what is that is it, what is that acronym? Let me see about this. NAFTAB. NAFTAB? Not know. ready. NAFTAB. I, I, just, I just literally Team said NAFTAB. It. Uh yeah, okay. No, but like uh, and all right, and I'm just literally going to be repeating what I just told Chad on Twitter. This Charlotte move mm -hmm. devalues the women's Royal Rumble because it makes the winner null and void. It devalues the SmackDown women's title because both Becky and Charlotte want to go after Ronda. Granted, there are personal issues there, but Neither of them are on Raw. Mm -hmm. And it just pisses off everyone in the audience and not in the good way. Like, how many years have we had two months of the headliners at WrestleMania argue with each other, try to one-up each other, and bicker with each other? Right. It's worked for years. Has it worked? Aren't we just tired of it and like, let's get to it? Do we really need this sure. for two months? Okay, fine. But never, like, adding a third person to make a triple threat. Wait, has wait, has, wait. Has anybody said this is a triple threat officially at WrestleMania? God, no, but it's going to be. Is there not two pay-per-views between now Sorg. and WrestleMania? Sorg, Sorg. Do you really think they're keeping the top merchandise seller off of WrestleMania? Is Char Charlotte is the top? No, Becky is. Wait, no, okay. Becky is not out of this match. This yes, match she is, is happening. This is, no, uh, sorry. Becky, as of right now, Becky is suspended until five days after WrestleMania. Right, and she was suspended last week and showed up on Raw. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing's nothing. Nothing. We had something no, on SmackDown no, last year, last week. No, they're gonna, they're gonna wait till next week on Raw, where Becky is going to punch Vince McMahon in the face. Hmm. That's weird that you're yep. saying that as I'm watching this video of Raylan in Japan punching some girl in the face. 
It's going to happen. That's weird. But, this, is, this is basically what you're No, you're it's not about. a storyline like Daniel Bryan's. That's right. Um, it's not a storyline like Daniel Bryan's at all. Well, they're trying to be in stuff. But, uh, oh, wow. But hey, this is... Apparently, you, you, apparently, there's no censor on Twitter because the man uh, uh, herself just tweeted complete and other bullshit. Well, yeah. To 5,500 5, likes so far. Wow. Uh, so, but hey, it's a it's something to piss off the audience, right? Why? Why are they so intent on pissing off their audience? That doesn't make people want to watch the product more. Well, it it, it, it no, it it doesn't. So people hate the Patriots. This was the lowest rated Super Bowl of all time. Because they didn't believe if they could be beat. Because they didn't believe believe they could be beat, and that's the problem. Piss, no, if you piss off your fans, they're not going to watch your product. Um, and I think that we're seeing that here and there. But hey, there are other options. Um, so I. This is yet to be determined how they pan this out. No, it's going to be a triple threat. It, I do, am not it's, sold on this being a triple threat. Sorg, it's going to be a triple threat. I do not believe this is a triple threat. Then what do you think the match is? I think the match is going to be Becky to Ronda. We're just going to take then, a detour then, to get there. A detour through Fastlane, if you will. Sorg, if, if Becky versus Charlotte happens at Fastlane, there's no winner in that match. Uh, yeah, I think it ends up being for the spot. I I I, I think it does end yes, up being for the spot. Yes, and there's not going to be a winner. No, Becky's going to win. Be a I think game. Becky's going to win. Anyway, Sorg, Sorg, I gar Sorg, I guarantee you that's what's happening. Hey, I will leave the show if that doesn't happen. Can I tell you? Can I tell you how much? <laughs> I will leave the show. You will leave the hat. <laughs> you will leave the show if the triple threat yeah. does not happen. Yeah. Why would I you don't do want that? that? Why would is this like is this like when I'm at an indie show and they say if you stop chanting such and such, I'll leave and then you don't leave? Is that what's gonna happen? Are you Chalk Sampson? Are you New York Chalk Sampson? No. Are you gonna no. tell me that I need I, to go to church? Heavens no, unless it's Poppy's church. Ah, Poppy dot church. Poppy is church. There you go. Uh so this is uh, this is that uh, ah uh, Alex um Alex Miller pulls this out, Tina, and Tina's uh, uh, conferring with that because uh, Ronda can't be booed, and yeah. Tina is agreeing. No, Alex is right. This is a way for I them to get. Last no, week. no, this is the way for them to ge get heat off Ronda and onto Charlotte. Again, I said this last week. Mm -hmm. I said this last week because the second they put, like, I know why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. I know why they're doing it. I'm not an idiot. I just don't fucking like it. <laughs> I know why they're doing it. They're yeah. doing it because if you put Becky and Ronda in the ring together, they're going to boo the shit out of Ronda and cheer the hell out of Becky. Mainstream Matt. Mainstream, Charlotte, mainstream Charlotte Matt. Theater. Mainstream Matt uh, positions. If Becky is standing tall as the winner at the end of Mania, isn't everything fine in the end? Only if she makes Ronda tap out. Wow. Only if she makes Ronda tap out. That's very... If, Be if Becky beats Charlotte at Mania, then all of this was for nothing. Then, then it just feels like then it just feels like every Brock Lesnar match. Yep, exactly. And mm. what was the one thing Ronda said she wasn't going to be? Brock she Lesnar. wasn't going to be Brock Lesnar. Well, I think she's already proven that and she if hasn't. It, if been. WrestleMania doesn't end with with the disarmor on Ronda and Ronda tapping out, this was all for nothing. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's kind of hard with triple threats. Um, to like, you know what this should be. This should be the finish of WrestleMania that no one can absolutely remember. That's what this should be. I'm not saying it's going to be. I'm saying that's what it should be. This should be the finish of WrestleMania 20. If it if it's Becky tapping out Charlotte, I don't like how we got there, but all is forgiven. Mm. But if it's any other finish, even if it's a pin, even if it's a pin. It's wasted. It's completely wasted. Well, let's see. We got new tag oh, yeah, team. Alex, we got honestly, we we got new Alex, tag team champions here tonight. Well, Alex is saying Ron, uh, he's saying he thinks still, Ronda still gets booed to Mania. Oh. She's absolutely going to. Yeah, she's yeah. going to get booed louder and harder than she's ever been booed in her life before. Right. And I hope she can take it. The ro the ro 
I'm going to be booing. The Revival. You'll be there. The Revival uh, win the Tag Team Championships. And along with it, I think I finally, you know, there's always that, like, I, you know, this thing where, like, I, it, I can't, like, tell a tag team apart until a certain point. Right, like I think I'm finally coming around on the Mac on the Young well, Bucks. Well, one's not. This ain't exactly the Usos. Right, right. But I don't. I know. I I, I just can't like get like lost. They have in. their names on their. And name. I have it. Okay, don't look at their butts. Okay. Um, I have to. That's my job. You have to. That's your job. I know it's your job to look at revival <laughs> butts. Yes. Anyways, um, <laughs> but I figured it out. Wilder is the one that, if he had hair, would have wild hair. And the Dawson is the one that looks like a Dawson. Dawson is bald. What? No, Wilder's bald. No, Sorg. Dawson Shit! Is... My system's messed up. Sorg. All right, Dawson back to the drawing bald. board. What? Dawson is bald because the creek is dry. How about oh. that? Oh. There it is. Oh, I'll, I'll have to work with that. Yeah. I'll have to see? work on that. D Dawson. And Dawson. Dash, Dash is the one who looks like his hair. Well, he just ran really fast. Dash Wilder has hair. Dash looks like it's Dash wild. from The Incredibles. Got it. Got it. Dash looks like Dash from The Incredibles. Really? No. No. But he has hair. <laughs> so, by elimination, um, Alex and Miller. And Alex, I can tell the Usos apart, too, but sometimes it's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, no. They're, sometimes I don't even think they know. They're one person. They don't even know. Which one am I today, bro? Yeah. <laughs> the trick of Naomi. Which, which one's going on with Naomi again? I don't know. I think you can have her tonight, bro. Who's? Uh, um, but yeah, that was a really good match. Um, God, I hope this means we can turn Rude heel. Maybe. I really hope this means Maybe. we can turn Rude heel. Jay's out there, and yeah, not Jay Uso. Jay's out there saying he would like to see Revival and Rude form a horseman like stable. Oh, no, no. No, Rude needs to get as far away from the tag team division as possible. Yeah, he needs to wear a suit. He needs yes. to be, I'm going to make this a better, I'm going to raise the, um, when he was first in NXT, I'm going to raise the level of fans here in this promotion. Like, yep. that, is, that is prime Bobby Rude. And mm -hmm. he needs somebody to play off with that. Honestly, Honestly, if he wasn't like maybe as a tweener kind of thing for like fast lane, I think I'd like to see him mix it up with Seth Rollins in that vein. Mm -hmm. um, so. By the way, speaking of Seth Rollins, Sorg, I have a bold prediction. Bold prediction for Seth bold. Rollins. Bold prediction. Yes. Is Charlotte Flair going to be in that match too? No, but um, the Shield are going to take down Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. No. Bold prediction. And that'll be the swan song for some stuff. For for everyone except Seth. Yeah. Wow. Full prediction. Wow. Full prediction. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. It's it's gonna look like the fucking end of Batman v Superman, where it's Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman all taking down Doomsday. <laughs> yes. But um, like a good version of that. <laughs> I'm not sure who's who yet. But <laughs> uh, like let's I would assume see. Dean is Batman. I don't want to talk about Elias because that angers you. Um, there was an art. Oh, no. it... Sork, you have to agree with me. He is fucked. No, I don't. I absolutely Sork... don't. I don't. I don't believe. What's his match at WrestleMania? I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't he doesn't matter. have one. He he is doesn't. Is he at have... WrestleMania? Is he at WrestleMania? Does he have a segment on camera at WrestleMania in so. the ring? In Does the he ring. have a match? Does he have a match? Doesn't need to. Yes, he does. Nope. Nope. He really does. Nope. He All should right. be Eric Condell champion right now. No. No. Yes. No. And then, and then his feud of Jeff Jarrett would have made some fucking sense. No. It does make sense because they no, have guitars. Doesn't. Jeff Jarrett never sang or played guitar. But he hit people over the head with it, so we're in. And Elias didn't. Listen. He played his guitar. He did you really want Honky Tonk Man to come back? Do you really want that it. to happen? You Over prefer Jeff it? Jarrett, Have prefer you it. seen a Honky Tonk Man lately? Have you? Really? I, I mm. prefer Honky Tonk Let Man. Let me know. To Listen, Jarrett. I've seen Sorry, a Honky Tonk TNA Man. TNA did me wrong for a long time. I know TNA I never did you wrong. Have Jarrett again. TNA did you wrong, and re and you kept going back, and it was a abusive relationship. I know. Yep. I know that. 
but I, <laughs> Sir, I it know. wasn't all just Jeff, right? I mean, I oh, mean, it, it kind of was. It was a lot of Jeff. It was a lot of Jeff. But it was also of just Trump. like it was kind of just like Nashville's fault uh, as well. And I don't blame the city of Nashville. Mm, yeah, I, I would blame the city of Nashville on this one. WWE needs to make up their minds on Ambrose and Elias. Well, I think they did on Ambrose. But on Ambrose... Um, no, no, they haven't. They haven't? You think they yeah, haven't? He turned face tonight. D- what? Wait, what? No, I... No. I think he's just being unpredictable Dean Ambrose. So, in other words, he's neither face nor heel, which means they need to make up their mind. He's an Ambrose. That's... Uh... He's unpredictable and wild. He's lazy booking. Ah, right. He's lazy booking because EC3 is not a face or a heel. It's kind of out there. Yeah. He's not a face or a heel. He'd wrestle exactly the same as both because they don't have any motivation, any character motivation for him right now. Uh, oh, oh. And, he's, and he's already lost, which is great. By the way, Heavy Machinery opened the show on main event. So. Well, they got to pull him somewhere. So the new talent is really. Hey man, you only got so many so many spots in three hours. Sure, they had a half hour tag team match. Yeah, I mean, full of full of non entities because none of them can fight Brock Lesnar. Yeah, well, man, they should have just thrown those guys in there, make it like a ten man tag with I don't know, Ryder and Hawkins. Oh hey, Ryder and Hawkins not on the show tonight. Thanks nope, guys. Neither was neither was Mojo. Yeah, neither was Mojo. Um, neither was Mojo. Lacey Evans, no one knows where the fuck she is. Consistency. Like, how do oh, I... Inve- there, there's how, no consistency. How can I invest in a character when I sit through three hours and don't see the character? Right? It's just... That's what I'm saying. I don't know what we're doing here. Uh, EC3 is a mute. Yeah. And he also has EC1 and 2. I'm glad to see that. You see EC1 is Braun Strowman. EC2 is uh, Drake Maverick. Yep. So appreciate that as well uh anything else from raw tonight anything else wrestling from the weekend what was your uh i did like the seth the seth rollins speech really i liked it i thought it was good i like that it was he, the first time i've liked rollins speaking in a long time i liked his interview on edge and christian's podcast and that he has a coffee shop attached to his training center i heard about that and yeah. i also now want edge to actually open that lucha coffee shop that he wanted to do uh, do you know there is a restaurant not five minutes walking from here called Tito Santana's? No, wait. Yes. The? Yes. No. Yes. Look it up. Tito it's called Tito. It's called Tito Santana's. I need to come up your way. Yep. I told you. Yep. You were forty-five minutes away, Sorg. Forty-five minutes away. We could have gone to Tito Santana's. We could have done I some flying to, forearms. There was not a lot. Of so there was seriously like like i had an hour and a half sleep in the car and then had to drive to erie so yeah yeah we were dangerous on that for some reason mojo reminds me of hacksaw duncan Mm. oh i could see it i could see it i could see it but hacksaw got a lot more action (laughs) uh anyways we this week are having who's on tomorrow? Honey Badger is going to be on with us tomorrow. Oh, Honey Badger don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck, which makes her <laughs> perfect for oh, our oh, show. Oh, I can't wait to see what she does in Mayhem Mania. Yes, and and just uh, fresh off of one, the Intergender Wrestling Panel Two that we just recorded last week oh, for Indie Mayhem have Show. We're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. she and she is uh she will let you know her opinions about things. We gonna have sure. some stuff to talk about. Okay, I'll just let you two go at it for a, for a segment. I, uh, on no, things. her and I are probably in agreement. Well, I mean, go at a topic. I mean, <laughs> okay, uh, but yes. So that'll be fun. We have Mayhem Mania. I am putting feelers out. I might have been talking to uh, at least a couple of wrestlers that have not been on for Mayhem Mania, uh, and one. Um, um, has two letters in the last part of his name and recently retired from wrestling. Uh, I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there because I don't know if, uh, I, you know, we haven't, he's interested and we just haven't got the schedule worked out yet. Um, so I'm declaring myself from Mayhem Mania. You're declaring. <laughs> it's like the Rumble. It's like the Rumble. I'm, I'm pointing to my No Way Out poster. I'm yes. Declaring myself. Oh, 
Oh, that was a great. I wish I had a better shot, but there is there's a sign for the Royal Eight tournament, and MT Ocean when they won, um, pointed at the sign, <laughs> like WrestleMania style. Like we got a point, we got a point. And uh, um, uh, other other fun thing from the weekend. Do you know Puff, one of the Buffalo Boys, the bigger fellow? Also saw all the Buffalo Boys this weekend, uh, including Kevin Blackwood, who I think got the worst of it. Um, I think uh, at least two of them wrestled, and uh, the one was doing a commissioner thing. Um, but the, uh, so so John McChesney always uh, always does this point at the camera whenever he sees you. Yeah, I don't know if you mm-hmm. you know you see John McChesney, he's typically pointing at the camera. And <laughs> mm-hmm. So Puff. Puff was doing the commissioner thing, and every time he saw a camera, he you know, every time I put put it on him, he said, "Big leg point, ha! I did it, <laughs> so, <laughs> success." <laughs> so, um, also because of what happened with the uh, Royal Eight tournament and MT OSHA uh, in Black Diamond Wrestling, um, they got help from two girls uh, to, uh, uh, in the end of the match uh, to help them win. And uh, at one point, Ronnie Starks picks up the cup, the trophy, the cup. And yells, two girls, one cup. I was going to say, if someone didn't make that joke, what the hell and are we even did doing? did not get fired. So we are good <laughs> there. Uh, that's going to be a fun edit when I get to that. That will be a part of Indie Wrestling Network. If you want to go over there and get a free trial and check out other episodes there. Um, we got commentary for Black Diamond now. Brohemoth is on there. A lot of going on. Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters. Also YouTube.com slash Poppy. <laughs> give me a little poppy. Give me no, a little. Give me a little no. poppy. Tell me about no, poppy. No, because you're just using me for gift fodder, sword. <laughs> Have you noticed? <laughs> you're using me for memes. Yes, gifts. yes, I am. And I will not be mad meme. You will not be mad meme. I will not be mad meme. Oh jeez. Well, well, we'll we'll see maybe, what we get. Out maybe of. tomorrow, if I can think of something that I'd say in poppy. <laughs> Uh, we do have you. What singing? What did we were saying something? Was that from this show? Anyways. Was it? I don't give a damn of our reputation. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, that's no, the next one. Not, not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, we'll we'll talk you know. Would you do it for twenty Thai bot? No, no, because you're betting me that. Would you do it for? Do I have an active bet on this Thai bot? I, I don't remember. Yeah, the triple threat. I don't know. I think I already owed it to you. Probably. Would you do it for two yeah, tie bots? This is not a Klondike bar ad. <laughs> no, no sword. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tie bot? 162. Mm. Good math. That's a conversion Thank rate. I, I am I am a scientist at heart. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Check out everything IndieWrestling.us, and we will be live Tuesday night for the Wrestling Mayhem show proper with our guest, Honey Badger. We will see you then. Thank you, everybody, and please don't watch wrestling too hard. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time in the Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron